This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, Emily. Uh, I'm John Cullum, incidentally, and this is my wife, Emily Franco. I am John's wife, and John is my husband. Yes. And today, mm-hmm. we are going to do a post for my blog. My blog is called Emma's Talkery. Yes. And the question that's on my mind... Mm-hmm. We're waiting with bated breath. Well... What? I want to talk about booze. Oh. Why are actors and actresses somehow, at some point in their careers, seduced by... Caught by, involved with booze. Booze. Yes. You were. Well, yes, I, I wonder if that wasn't a very personal... Uh, no, it's not personal, because you have totally gone off booze. John swore off booze and has never gone back and not really been tempted. In fact, if he sees me have a drink, well, he I- says, go ahead and have a drink. I'm not having a drink. Well, you wouldn't want me to have one. No, I don't. Tell you that. <laughs> Talk about actors and booze. Well, uh, I think it, it was a kind of a pervasive thing in the, in the, when I was coming up as a young man. Um, we all had the idea that artists drank a lot, and even in the movies, you you know, they were always, they're always at, drinking. In yeah, the and they never uh, the, the heroes never got drunk. And they drank and drank and drank and drank and uh, and and writers. A lot of writers fell into that particular category. I mean, Faulkner, I think, over drank too much, and uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, even painters. But uh, it was a particularly almost star uh, actors. Yeah. I remember Josie and Robarts. Wow, I remember. Uh, uh, all of them yeah. drank. Well, it, I, I think it, it, it's, it also starts with the fact that actors are very, they, no other, in no other profession do you have to uh, go put yourself on the line and explain who you are, give your credits and your, your, your qualifications and be judged 50 times a year. That's um, a lot. Uh, well, I'm probably too many. So, too is many. it fear? And, and 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 it gets to you. You uh, uh, you you begin to think. Well, I'm not very good. You know, you are good, but liquor makes you uh, all all your drops your inhibitions drop, and you really feel like you're important and good. That was one of the tough things about stopping drinking for me. It wasn't the booze. It was the fact that uh, I didn't think I was nearly as interesting or exciting. And one of the things that made it easy for me to quit was because you and my son, John David, and some of my close friends began to explain to me that I wasn't as clever and charming and beautiful when I was drunk as I thought I was. Sometimes you got mean. Well, I did not remember that. Uh, well, I remember that. <laughs> but anyway, that you was one of the... mean with cab drivers. Oh, yeah, that was terrible, yeah. Well, well, anyway, I was lucky to get through that period. But a lot of actors have been have had their careers. Do you careers. think that's still true today, that actors are very attracted to booze today? No, I don't think that... Less that, so. In, um, uh, I don't believe so. Of course, I don't, I don't run into the problem actors... And the problem actors used to be the big actors. I mean, as you said, Jason Robarts and George... Uh, George. Uh, Lots of people that you knew drank a lot. Yeah. George C. Scott and... Oh, uh, George. Wow. Uh, yeah. And, and Richard Burton. Richard Burton. That, and mm-hmm. These were the bottle guys. Yeah, but, but some, uh, some of them could handle it, like Richard could handle his liquor until he got older, when the liquor began to take advantage of him. You know, when you're young, you can handle it. But when you get to, uh, up into your 40s and 50s, that's when you better start watching your drinking because it can get the best of you. So booze is something that actors just get involved with because of the problem of job hunting. Well, I can t- tell you a story. For instance, in Camelot, everybody, I had, uh, I had a bar in my dressing room. 
That's never done anymore, and it never was done by American actors usually, but the English actors always thought that. Richard held court in his room, and everybody would come down and, and drink in, in Richard Burton's studio. But I was Roddy McDowell's understudy. I went on for Roddy, and uh, everybody was telling me how great I was. Richard kicked everybody out of his room, said, I want to talk to John. And he said, John, do you think you were good today? And I said, well, everybody's telling me. And he says, no, you're inebriated. You know how much I like to drink. But he said, if you can't handle it, don't do it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's quote Richard Burton. Okay. Rich- the thing about booze, if you can't handle it, don't, don't do, do it. it. John Cullum, thank you for discussing booze with me. Okay, um, and we'll all we'll see you next week, okay? This is AIR. See you next week.